What is up, my Wookiees and fans? I am privileged to show you a little first look and a quick how-to on Last Expedition. So jumping right in on the start, I do want to just mention if you have any issues or you crash at all, what fixed it for me is going to video and then changing all my settings down to 30 FPS across the board, and I have not had any further crashes. You cannot use the gamepad yet. It is not working, so you have to use your mouse and your keyboard. So go ahead and click play. Uh, you're going to go to browse, and you're going to go ahead and just find whatever low ping you have. We will set up games here in the future as well and jumping into them in the Discord so we can get a good 16-person match going. Uh, that's when it's true chaos. So uh, just going over the controls real quick, your typical WASD keys for moving around, space for jumping. If you click C, it'll actually toggle you in your crouch versus control, you hold it down to crouch. Shift, you hold down to run. And you can do, you know, slide running as well. E is going to be your interact button. That's how you're going to put down like mining things and choosing locations to drop. Uh, Q is your ultimate ability. You shoot kind of like a grenade or something. If you want to switch to your laser gun uh, uh, miner that we have out right now, you're going to go ahead and click G. And F is your stabby stab. So, uh, and then the tab will get into your crafting, which we'll show you in a minute. This is the map inside. Basically, anywhere that is green, there's going to be a bunch of fragments versus areas that don't have as many fragments. You can click the same exact location and jump where enemies are jumping, which will make for total chaos. It'll show up red when there's a hostile person there. So let's go ahead and just jump right into the game. Once again, that's E to interact. That's how you go ahead and jump into the game. If you hold down right click while you have your laser gun out, it will bubble you up so you can see things that are around you. Clicking tab brings up your crafting menu. This is gonna be the important thing. You can see your minerals over here. 800 Nyx is the purple stuff and Gala or Gaia is the green stuff. You can only have one of the things in each of these slots. You have to choose between the two. Uh, so if you click it, it'll start to craft it. You can see it crafting in the top right corner there, and it used up my minerals. Uh, shotgun has quite a bit of ammo. The hand cannon is strong, but does not have a lot of ammo, which is a downside. Some things require Nyx and uh, minerals to build, like the sniper rifle and the rocket launcher. And you need Nyx to make Protox packs, which are armor. Graph packs are uh, basically healing you up, grenades and the such. So jumping right out, if you hold down the right bumper, you can right click, you'll bring up this nice bubble and I'll show you where stuff is. Green is where your fragments are. Top left is you can see, collect three fragments. Then that little box will show up and you can find the core. If you find the core, you've got to run to the ship and try to extricate before you get eaten by the monsters in this world or uh, be getting killed by another team. So first thing, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some uh, nicks and some minerals uh, so we can get a little bit of armor going. So you just hold down left trigger and it will mine for you. This guy does not do a lot of damage, so don't rely on him to, uh, you know, be making a bunch of stuff. So you can craft multiple things at one time. You can only hold three nicks. I'm going to use up all four of those nicks to make four armors, and we will get strong. I'm going to run over here and grab a little bit of minerals so we can try to also get a shotgun, because that just has a lot of ammo. So when we run out with our jack hand cannon, we will be squared away and good to go. I can hear baddies behind me, so we're going to switch and get ready to shoot some of them. They're going to be running up on us. The baddies, uh, there's just your general baddies, like these guys. That one's a little fast one, so he's only a one-shot kill. This guy's like a medium guy, so he's a two-shot kill. And this guy's a fatter guy. He takes three shots to down. He can actually run and kind of charge you like a little rhino. So pretty interesting, guys. See, three shot. These guys, if you use a shotgun on them, they will explode into, like, gas and stuff. You can pick up guy, these little green guys, and they will help you... Uh, you know, you can use them to heal up, basically. So we crafted all of our armor stuff. So if you hold left trigger, you can armor up. You have to stand still while you're doing it. So it'll be really interesting to see if in future updates of the game, if they allow us to move it around. I think moving around and healing would be super, uh, super cool and make it a lot more competitive if people run around, sliding around, trying to escape people while they're armoring up. I'm going to grab a little bit more minerals. Uh, for the minerals, your teammates can be anywhere on the map. And when you do that, they will get some too. So that's pretty cool. I don't look down scope a lot because the reticule is just so good and so accurate. If they widen that up, uh, it'll force me to actually uh, change it up a little bit. So your armor does not uh, regenerate when uh, it gets damaged like that. So here is one of our guys. You hold down E to start to extract the fragment. You're going to drop a little mining tool. You don't have to stand here while it's doing it. Oh, wow. Did I let go early? Uh, but you do have to basically come back and collect it. Wow, that was kind of weird, little glitch. All right, it's mining now. 
So when that happens, you drop that, it will spawn monsters. Big surprise, right? So we're going to be ready to go ahead and kill some baddies. Got quite a bit of minerals. I'm actually going to go ahead and build a shotgun as well. You can see top right, that is how long it takes to make a shotgun. If you need ammo, it costs a lot less, but you just click the same gun that you're looking for. Oh my gosh, that was funny. That you're looking for. Oh, I don't have my shotgun out yet. Oh wow, it takes a little longer than I thought. So you can see I'm out of ammo already. So if I go like this, click it, it'll start to craft me some ammo. Let's go ahead and use our shotgun to go ahead and uh, spray and pray. So there are special baddies as well. There's the Ravager. The Ravager literally will swallow you whole, one of your teammates whole. So they're uh, they're tough. And if you're playing solo, you better make sure you get some shots on them before uh, they eat you, basically. So if you ever get lost or you don't know where to go to find your next fragment, like again, you just pop out your bubble. If your teammates are inside your bubble, they can boost it and it'll make it bigger and bigger and bigger. You can do it three times and then it's easier to see like where things are. So let's go ahead and run over here and grab this fragment. If you enjoy this content, I really do appreciate you guys clicking a uh, like button, subscribing if you want, and clicking that gala, gala link down below. You do not have to buy anything, but just clicking that link and going to the gala site helps out my channel. So let's go ahead and extract another fragment here. This is number two. When other teams are in here, 4v4v4v4, 4v4, 4v4, the top left, you can see when those players also are getting fragments and or if they're getting the core. If you kill those teammates, they will drop the fragments. So you can actually hunt people down instead. So it'll be real interesting to kind of decide, uh, you know, what the best strategy is just hunting people down versus, uh, you know, collecting. When you're in that bubble, you can see little tiny red dots and stuff where there's enemies. You can also hear them shooting, obviously, and then go hunt them down. It is pretty, pretty fun. Uh, I do love the jackal hand cannon. That's what I use to usually kill people. The sniper rifle is pretty fun as well. So we got some more fragments down here. So we'll just run this direction and do another bubble here in a minute to kind of find where those are. So you can see a lot of multitasking while you're running. I have crafted more armor packs, so I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, go ahead and pop both of those. And that's just to really try to make sure that I don't die during this video. But if we get eaten by a Ravager, that's okay. I really hope that we'll at least get to see the core, because the core is pretty cool, what happens to the sky and everything as well. So I'm going to run by that next, because I don't mind it. Don't need any more at the moment. Let's go ahead and bubble up, see which direction. So straight. And then there's one over here, too. All right, here's baddies dropping behind me again. I'm going to grab this, just because I know I'm going to need more ammo here with the Jackal Hand Cannon soon. I think you can actually shoot those minerals too, but obviously I don't want to waste no ammo. I hear one. Here it is. So uh, this game's obviously pretty fun already. Uh, it's obviously way more fun when there's a bunch of players in here too, because things just get really chaotic. Uh, I can't wait for them to really turn up the level too and just make this like stuff a lot more difficult. Maybe them taking a lot more damage, doing more damage. Um... Because, I mean, you know, I'm one person and I'm handling, you know, what is this, 10 of them or so? It would also be interesting if they also switch it up at all to where, uh, you know, they attack you like Miner or something. A lot of different things they can do. So, either way, so fun already. And uh, the competition and stuff is going to be, uh, be pretty spicy once you get some really, really good gamers in here. So you can tab and actually run while you're, uh, you know, in that window, which is also pretty cool. So once you bubble here, the core will show up blue. The core is also really gigantic. See that weird, weird, weird? That's definitely it. Whereas the fragments are a lot smaller. That one will like show up really fat and big. So we definitely know it's over this direction. So let's hurry up and run that way. I'm surprised we haven't had any porcupines yet or ravagers. Those are the two that are live right now. Soon though, it will be some uh, guys that also burrow into the ground and uh, a guy that's like a parasite guy that they're working on so it's going to be four special kind of monsters that you'll have to deal with as well all right let's see if we see it again oh man it's pretty far away so i'm gonna keep running here obviously way more fun to play with folks and peoples uh we're gonna start setting up some big discord games so we can hopefully get like full teams in here we get some nice like full 4v4 v4 v4 it's gonna be pretty fun so those guys explode when you shoot them with the shotgun which is pretty cool all right 
we're just gonna keep going here. The core is a lot harder to kind of find, so the core will start to show up blue when you're close to it. So that means we're getting pretty close. So let's go. At least you guys will hopefully get to see the uh, change in the environment and everything. Um, obviously, this is a pre 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 alpha, so don't get too mad that you know there's not a whole bunch of artistry yet. Did we pass it? Oh no, it's right here. You have to be like right on top of it before it'll show up and actually appear like that. See, grab it. Whoa! Look at the look at the sky. So beautiful. Everything changes. It's so cool. Oh my gosh! I'm getting freaking beat up. I think I just heard a rabbiter noise too. Oh no, never mind. It's the it's the sound the core is making. I believe. So blue means that they have found the core. When it's orange, it means they're searching for the core. You can see top left. It's blue. And this is when, if you are playing against a whole bunch of folks, you better hunt those folks down. Because they have the core and they're going to their ship. So you can jump them at their ship, kill them, and then steal their core and then go to your ship too. So pretty cool. Once you get to your ship, obviously you just hold E, place your core in there, and then you just gotta wait. So uh, one of the things they do need to fix though is if you are eaten by a Ravager during this countdown, but the countdown goes down to zero before you die, you still win. So uh, I think it makes sense for them to like go ahead and uh, make it to where if you're incapacitated by a monster, Parasite or Porcupine or Ravager, that you cannot escape. And that's the first look. So obviously I didn't play against any players, so maybe a little bit more boring, but uh, when this game uh, gets all art, arted up and artistic and look beautiful, this game's going to be really fun, especially when everything's a lot stronger and a lot more difficult. Alright guys, well, uh, thanks for watching, obviously. That's a first look and a how-to on the last expedition. And uh, I'll make updates whenever we really need some. Hopefully I'll uh, stream some uh, sweet, awesome big matches. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay warm, Wookiees. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.